Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. A guide dog is a service dog that provides guidance to those with impaired eyesight. Guide dogs are also known as visual assistance dogs, leader dogs, and dogs for the blind. Each guide dog is trained to help their handler follow known paths while alerting to changes in elevation, obstacles, and other potential hazards. On today's show, we are continuing our service dog series on DogWorks Radio. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska, this is DogWorks Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to DogWorks Radio. I'm your host, Michelle Forto. I'm also the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we help you and your canine buddy have a better relationship. If you have been a fan of this podcast, then you know that we talk a lot about service dogs. In fact, I am internationally known as a service dog trainer. I have trained dogs as far away as New Zealand. On our feed, we have a whole series on service dogs, and I urge you to check it out and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Again, on today's show, we are talking all about guide dogs. Did you know that guide dogs undergo a rigorous training phase that begins at birth and continues through to age two years? Maintenance training for guide dogs occurs daily and adjustments and recertification testing can happen as needed, but testing can be required every two years to ensure retention and advancements in training procedures. Guide dogs are not everyday dogs. Many different breeds can become effective guide dogs, although German Shepherd, Golden Retrievers, and Labrador Retrievers are often best suited to this special work. Basic training begins at the puppy stage, then dogs with suitable temperaments receive more detailed and complex coaching and instruction. The animal must be good-natured, intelligent, observant, and not easily frightened by noises or crowds. Even the best trainer cannot make a nervous and skittish dog into an effective companion. Puppy raisers provide invaluable volunteer training hours with potential guide dog puppies, exposing them to all sorts of public places, sights, smells, and sounds. Training happens at every opportunity. Guide dog puppies are trained in inclement weather, in the dark, in the heat of the day, and during long, boring work shifts. All of this prepares them for the life they will lead with their handlers. Guide dogs require specialized training and more advanced skills include leading the owner around obstructions and recognizing less obvious obstacles such as overhead branches and stopping at them. Sometimes the training can involve not obeying commands and a type of coaching known as intelligent disobedience. Dogs learn not to obey commands that would lead their owners into danger. For example, crossing a road when there is oncoming traffic. If the dog can master these skills, he is paired with an owner for additional training, which may take around two weeks. Training schools match guide dogs and their blind or visually impaired owners since compatible personalities and good communication then help the pair through a program that teaches them to develop a strong working relationship. During this phase, the dog may need to learn some new skills. For example, if the prospective owner has other disabilities, after this training, the guide dog begins his new life as a service animal. Typically, guide dogs are expected to work until they are 8 to 10 years old. Although animals in peak physical condition may be able to work for longer, some owners have their dogs in service for 10 years or more. 
after retirement, the dog is either kept on as a pet by the owner or their family or given back to the training school to be placed in a new home. Training schools can arrange adoption for anyone interested in having a retired guide dog as a pet. Besides obedience, guide dogs learn search commands and guide commands. One of the essential tasks of the guide dog will be to locate objects, places, and facilities, and to guide its handler to them. During this training, the dog will therefore learn to search and find such items like seats, doors, pedestrian crossings, stairs and escalators, bus stops, metro stations and railway stations, cash machines and counters, mailboxes, etc. Here's to the adventure-seeking dog mushers out there. The hundreds of you who stand on the runners dreaming and thinking about the Northern Lights. Of course, there is something else you can do if you've got something to say. Start a podcast with First Paw Media and harness your creative side. Maybe even earn enough money. Enough money to tell yourself, hey, I'm not just a dog musher. I'm a rover. I'm a wanderer. I'm a voyager. I'm an explorer. Visit firstpaw.media. Mush on over today. All right, guys, let's get on with the show. A visually impaired person must be able to place total confidence in his guide dog to move safely in any place. The dog will therefore learn to move in space on demand and to respond precisely to its handler's instructions to guide its handler. Some of the terminology is going right or left, walk around objects, Stopping at pavements and recognizing signs like crossing the road. Avoiding gaps for safe traffic on station platforms, riverbanks, etc. Take all public transport. Managing a journey in the countryside. These behaviors will be applied in all types of environments. City, village, transport, shopping centers, etc. Guide Dogs for the Blind was founded in 1942 and serves the United States and Canada. They have successfully trained over 16,000 teams. All of the services that Guide Dogs for the Blind offers are for free, and they rely solely on donations from the public. Guide Dogs for the Blind has a wonderful puppy raising program that Alaska Dog Works highly recommends to anyone interested in giving back or paying it forward with your time and love. Raising any puppy to potentially become a service dog of any type is rewarding. If you find yourself in a situation where you'd benefit from being around a dog, but know that your lifestyle and work commitments may make it impossible to have a dog more than a year or two, then volunteering as a puppy raiser for the guide dogs for the blind could be a wonderful solution. There's been some famous guide dogs. A few we have featured on previous episodes that you can listen to in our archives. You may recall Buddy the first trained seeing eye dog, as they were referred to back then. She was trained by Dorothy Harrison Eustace for Morris Frank. Buddy and Frank spent a lot of time together and went on many adventures that would see them log 50,000 miles and earning them a feature in the New York Times in 1936. Another dog we have featured is Roselle. Michael Hinkson survived 9-11 thanks to Roselle assisting and guiding him from the 78th floor of the North Tower past uncharted paths and unknown debris, fuel and fire, eventually to safety on the ground. Our survival was dependent on our teamwork in every sense of the word, said Hinkson. That human-animal bond, that trust and faith, helped me live another day. Figo. One could argue could have been a superhero disguised as a dog. Figo threw himself in the path of a mini school bus that came unexpectedly around a corner at an intersection where Figo was helping Audrey Stone, his handler, cross. She sustained broken ribs, a fractured ankle, and fractured elbow, while Figo took the brunt of the impact with the bus he only suffered minor injuries. Apparently, Figo had done this sort of thing before, throwing himself in front of a rolling shopping cart in the grocery store to keep it from hitting stone. Ty. 
This sweet dog is such an independent thinker that he has figured out how to take his handler to his favorite store. You see, Danielle's dog loved a store in the mall called Cool Dog Gear and could not resist guiding Danielle into this store, even though Danielle had no intention of visiting that store. We can all understand those dreaded shopping trips that did not involve a visit to our favorite store. <laughs> I guess dogs are more like us than we realize. Alaska Dog Works has trained service dogs through our Lead Dog Service Dog Program since 2007. We train psychiatric, autistic, mobility, and medical alert. We have a puppy raiser program from time to time. To inquire, reach out to us through our socials or through our website by sending us an email. So what do you guys think? Do you know the difference between a guide dog and a mobility dog? Let us know in the comments section or over on our social channels. Just search First Paw Media. Oh, and one last thing. Did you know the single best thing you can do for our show is to tell your family and friends how you listen? Who knows? They might just become a rabid listener just like you. I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Radio and First Paw Media. See you next time. From First Paw Media, this is DogWorks Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.